So check this out, man. I got an offer for a voice acting gig. Yeah, I've been meaning to ask about that. Do you belong to some kind of voice acting guild? <laughs> what? Ben, do you belong to the voice acting guild in North America? <laughs> yes. They're a subset of Nambla, man. I, I thought I thought Nambla kept a, its distance from the from the voice actors guild. What? The National Association of Marlon Brando Lookalikes. Yeah, dude. In case I want to make a Marlon Brando animated biopic, these Nambla guys want to stay true to their craft and not betray it. Coming up on this Linux Gamecast Weekly, Guns of Icarus finally hit Steam. Am I the only person excited about the PS4X86 architecture announcement? We talk Salvation Prophecy and OpenGL performance. Does it really work that well under Unity? Let's go. Welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers basically whatever we come up with in the Linux gaming world, but more importantly, we like to sit back, collect all the fun bits, Steam news, regular news, and new games that come out every week, and provide just a bit of commentary, maybe a slice of humor, but more importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. And joining me, as always, every week, this man, Mr. Svang. And you are an elegant, er, el- elegant, eloquent <laughs> prince. You're, you're a stuttering moron. I know. What's your point? None, really. Who else is with us this week, man? The, this, this one guy tags along occasionally. Uh, occasionally. I like to hang around. Uh, I'm kind of a stalker. Uh, yeah, he 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 he's like a remora, except he doesn't really clean us or anything. He just kind of sticks around and grabs onto our flesh. And well, you got to think rides. that's kind of what we do at Linux. You know, we get stalkers. We don't run away from them. We're like, ah, come on the show. No, we 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 take we take a proactive approach to our stalkers. Basically, like uh, like T Brown, the T Brown microphone. Indeed. See? There Indeed. we go. Throw that in there. So before we get started, we always like to catch up on the week and see what everyone's been up to. And we're going to throw this to Mr. Matthias. What goes on in your life? Uh, uh, well, we actually have a new open source. The new Mesa drivers are now available on Fedantu. They enable S3TC texture compression. It means you can play all those funky games now without needing, you know, the proprietary drivers. That and uh, kind of starting to get pissed off with all the drama and politics and BS going on at work. So I'm effectively looking for a new one. <laughs> no, that's a bit Fun different. Stuff. Yeah, how about you, Mr. Sling? Oh, I jacked up my wrist this week as a carpal tunnel, so... <laughs> Giggity. Giggity, yeah. So can't play too many games this week. I did manage to get a bunch of them working though. So what was that? Didn't catch that last book. I said I managed to get a bunch of them working though. So I have what to talk about. Good deal. Over here, it's been relatively boring, but we added something to the Linux Gamecast uh, site. Everyone was asking for it last week, and I said I'd do it. We now have the Amazon UK affiliate link. So all I have to say to you, fine, lovely people, and everyone in the chat room, where's your god now? But we do have that um, going on in my life. Uh, What I do in the day is um, scream into a tin can for money. Not every day, usually like once or twice a week. Uh, There's a new indie company, been around for a little bit. So I'm working with him to negotiate to be a narrator for an entire game. It's the first time I've ever been the sole voice in an entire game. See, our our goal is to make Ven the voice of Linux game gaming. So when you think when you think Linux gaming voice acting, you think of Ven, and then you piss your pants and run screaming. Yep. 
Yep, that's after you knock off that raging hard on. But more importantly, we got a cup, man. Isn't that right, Jim? We got a cup. We 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 we've had this veritable chalice for a great many months. Yes, uh, and then and then we promised that whoever whoever was first to donate uh, ten bucks a month for a recurring thing gets to name the cup. Now we should point and, out you get to name things like the Thomas Brown Memorial Microphone, T Brown, T Brown, and we're still T working Brown. on that headset for Pedro. Hey, this one right here. You could have a nice name tag. Yeah. You could put your business, your company, dot com right there. We'll slap it on the side of Pedro's head. You get to see yeah. it all throughout the show. The, 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 this is what you're paying for. You could, and you know what? You could literally put anything there, anything you wanted. Advertising space, man. It's all for you. But, um, this, is, uh, this, is, this is what we do with our lackeys at Linux Gamecast. Mm. We use them as human murals. Basically, Eric Gantonsen said, all right. I take your challenge. I'll give you ten dollars, and I name your cup. And I said, "All right, fine. What should we call it?" And we're still trying to figure that out. Mm. Yeah, still trying to figure that out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Couldn't What's come up that with the written name. on the cup there, Vin? What do you mean? There's nothing. What's written that on the written cup? there? I don't see it. plain red cup. I don't. I don't. I don't know what the Just hell you're talking red, about. Red man. Hmm. Pedro, you wear glasses. I think I see something uh, there. Yes, I'm wearing glasses. Yeah, I, I can see I, it. I, th- I think you need to clean off your glasses a bit. Yeah, I'm, maybe you switch prescriptions. Things. Let's ask the chat. Hey, chat. What does the uh, what does the cup say? See, PDQ got it. Arch. That's Arch. Right. No. A pirate's um, favorite distribution. Yes. So that's what we have. The cup now officially is named Arch. Arch. So we're good with that, and thank you. Um, By the way, Arch Linux, if you if you want if you want to talk to us a couple of shekels for the free advertising, you know, talk to us. How about a logo? Because this could be any kind of arch. It could be any. It, it could be. You know, I, I might put Roman in front of this. Yeah, <laughs> could be. So that's going to wrap up everything we've been to. But um, <clears throat> speaking of whoring ourselves out like we normally do. Hmm? Yeah, so you should go to our website. Check us out on our web zone at uh, we got web zones. Our web zone. Yes. Our 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 in my our intertube junction at linuxgamecast.com slash podcast, where you can check out our HD video, SD video, and audio RSS feeds. You can also see these lovely affiliate links that you can click on to give us money without having to actually spend money on us. Or if you scroll a bit further down, you can see our donation buttons. Pedro, tell them about the donation buttons. Well, you have one of three choices. You can either give good us a choices one-time or thing. Are they all bad choices? They're three very good choices, choices. But everything you know, is a bad choice. No, it isn't. You see, when someone gives us money, it's always a good choice. So it's their call. You can either donate one time, if you donate one time, We'll appreciate it. You can donate, you know, about three fifty a week, a month. It works. Or if you're really feeling generous, you got ten bucks a month. We'll appreciate that, and you get to name this thing right here. You get to stick Pe- something on Pedro's face. You could actually. Pe- we'd be perfectly fine if you drew a picture of a penis. I'm, I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, <with that. laughs> this, this is what I've been not so subtly hinting at the past five minutes. <laughs> That's fair enough. <laughs> but also screech over to our YouTube page if you want to see some of our latest videos. If you don't want to download, um, you're not big on the podcasting bit, you can get that past episodes, our B-reels, our players' episodes, and that fun stuff. But we also need to scream out to our favorite, Linux Gaming. The subreddit. underscore. Linux underscore gaming. Yeah, at that's reddit.com slash r slash just that. Yeah, it's that's our favorite subreddit. A lot of um, lots of good friends over there. Podcasts like to create their own subreddit and all that. No, you don't need that. If you're looking for Linux gaming, boom, Bob's your uncle boom. right here. No need to keep searching. So I think that covers all. Up. It performs all your kitchen household needs. It Julianne's midgets. I mean, you can't beat that value. No, not with it. But it it's time for that dough. dead horse that we beat every week. Oh, do we have that horse again this week, sir? We we have we have that horse that we've 
Last week it kind of stuttered to life and was prancing around a bit, but we took care of that. And that's our lovely little Steam Linux update of the week. 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 So, All right. this is something so, um, uh, you got to be pretty stupid not to be able to do, right? Uh, well, I well, I in in my use case anyways. I I kind of don't want to do this in the first place. But for those of you interested in getting Flash Player working on 64-bit Linux using your Steam client, you can do the same workaround that we used to have to do back before there was no Steam Linux or rather Steam that ah, Steam no. Ah, Flash, Flash 64-bit plugin. Um yeah, so just uh, download the uh, tarball for Flash, extract it into one of these lovely little Mozilla directories, and should king using NS plugin raptor wrapper, if I recall correctly. So it's pretty straightforward, right? Sounds pretty straightforward. I don't, I don't want Flash in my Steam just because why would I? So you know, I have a. I'm, 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 I'm fine without the videos that play every time you go onto a page. I have a last that more elegant headphones. solution. Yeah, Ben, that's your that's your solution for uh, for everything, isn't it? Reinstall. No, j- just install a thirty two bit version of Linux. Don PAE kernel get your memory. You're fine. What about you, Pedro? What do you think about that? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm biased. I actually use thirty two bit too. And well, but there's one thing I want to mention about that. It was written by Dedo I Meadow. The same guy that gave a 10 out of 10 on Fadantu, and then he actually installed it on his PC and look at that gave it a 9 out of 10, right there. which is awesome. <laughs> look, look at, you were able to talk about that, that down your he's, he's on his knees, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> on his knees. <laughs> Neat. So, what well, can we check that out? Didio Medio? Dedo I Meadow. Dido. That's what I call Dido. it. Dedo. Dedo I Meadow. Dedo I Meadow. Well, we like to call it show notes, where you can find show all the links. Show notes, yeah, from... that thing that we post under our video links every so often so that you can click on them, the stories and read them yourself and form your own goddamn opinion. Ah, damn um, yeah. skippy. All right, Pedro, what do we got up next? Up next, we have Richard. An update. Rokar. 1.4. Yeah, it's yes. been updated to 1.4. It now uses uh, the Unity 4.0.1. It's added the Hungarian localization, and the input debugger has been added too. There's actually some, you know, Steam content, additional content now supported. Big picture mode supported, so if you're playing it on your TV, you got it. And Steam Linux is now officially supported. Uh, Excellent. Ro- 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 we had a bit of problems with Rochard in the past, or Rochard, however you say it. No, I think it's nice you to see that's right out of the box. Yeah. What? What? We we, yeah, we, we covered this way back. When. Yeah, I was trying to remember what issue did you originally have with it. No, it it was you had to do. No, you had the exact same issue too, because what you had to do was restart Steam. No, you had to reboot your computer. Oh, you that installed. initial when you first launched it. Right, right. Yeah, and it, it was crashing, and you're like, yeah, I had that too. I had to reboot my machine for that to work. And I'm like, that's freaking weird. That can't be the problem. And after another hour, I'm just like, fine, I'm going to reboot the machine, and it works. <laughs> I'm just like, Boom. okay, that was weird. But no, you can it's pick very, that up. It's that's a very Windows available solution. available now in your um, Steam library. Those keys worked from previous Humble Bundles, which is neat. Humble Bundles. Humble Bundles. Yep. So. Yeah, that's I the nice thing is that every, every time you it. get something that you bought in a Humble Bundle, it shows up in your uh, in your Steam library already. What was that, Pedro? So it... Yeah, I had one teeny tiny issue. Uh with the open source Mesa drivers, the game actually works really well. It's just that when you unlock an achievement and the Steam overlay comes up to say you got the achievement, uh, it turns everything purple. You have to close the that's, game and start it back up again. Like Bonnie the Dinosaur. That's just because purple. Rochard is too funky for Fiduntu, maybe. <laughs> no, it's the open source drivers. I never had anything of that with the proprietary ones. But yeah, I've been forcing myself to use the proprietary drivers this week, so yeah. <laughs> You poor son of a bitch. (laughs) (laughs) So, guys, um, last but... No, second to last, but not least. Second to last. Gmod. Uh, For Linux. Gary's Mod. 
mod. Yeah, Gary's mod is like it's totally like totally ninety nine percent done. Gag me with a spoon, man. Gag me with a spoon. <laughs> For car, man. And you know, I was kind of excited about this until I started reading the comments. The, the comments, oh, yeah? man. It's always the comments. Well, it's not so much that I didn't know he just genuinely despised Linux so much. I don't think anyone that Did he? I only realized it when I read that comment. And yeah, fuck Gary Newman. <laughs> what? <laughs> fuck Gary Newman. Yeah. Does anyone remember? When Gary refused to even make a Linux server for Gmod, even though the fans begged for it, he was basically like, mm, fuck off. And he only cared about Windows. But you know what? Well, you know what? People can change their opinions, especially when they've been proven dead wrong. So it's no, good they, that people are learning from their they, mistakes. They can change their opinions when they realize they can monetize on a different platform. Exactly. Like I said, when they're dead wrong, some people are mad enough to admit that they were dead wrong. So at least we can say that about Gary Newman. Yeah, I don't even think he's admitted anything. He's other than just, eh, all right. Um, wow, there's some detailed stuff in here. Eleven point bulletin list right here. Yeah, let's let's not go into that. You can check that out. <laughs> the links in the show notes. Yeah, that's from it. our favorite subreddit, Linux underscore. You, you you can you can experience that one for yourself. No, I've never played Gary's mod because I'm kind of stolen when it comes to my Linux gaming. So what's it all about? That's basically a mod for Half Life where you can do a bunch of crazy crap. It's like a sandbox. Imagine a sandbox. Yeah. You can just spawn in everything you want and make. There's actually like, a cult of no, YouTube you, you've videos seen, that you, are made on Garrow's mod. You've, you, you've seen Half Life Full Life Consequences. That was done in Garrow's mod. Yep. Yeah, so yeah. To, right. to get an idea of the sort of wacky you can accomplish in that game and you can actually get it bundled for uh on steam with counter-strike source for like six bucks so when that eventually drops on linux you'll be able to play that yep good on that so now least bit jordan it's all yours yes guns of icarus online which is a very fun game that i played back when it was a single player game and thought damn it would be nice if we had some multiplayer and it's basically Basically, airship combat, and you and your friends crew an airship and try and blow up other airships, and it's really, really cool. It's also really, really pretty. It's shiny. It yes, it is. Yes, it is. So I, I, I mean, look at that. Yeah, I've been. So it's, it's 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 all steampunk. It's yeah. I, I, I when I when I first played the single player, I really really dig the game. It was just yeah. My first thought was. Man, this game could really use some multiplayer. Here it is. And it's on Linux nonetheless. Yeah, they've had some work done with it. And we, see, this is what I'm really fascinated with is that all three of us can man one ship. Giggity. Oh, yeah. Yes. This is going to make for a very, very cool episode of plays. Yes. Yep. Um, I think I'm going to let these chitlins here, my two favorite crackers, um, crackers, cracker, please use the guns while I pilot under the influence of everything. Oh my in god, we're all gonna die! Ah! <laughs> Bring a towel. <laughs> I've got to get your money's worth and make sure that's facing forward here. Yeah. So yep. check that out. It was on sale until today. You could have picked it up for six ninety nine if you yeah, went linuxgamecast.com and got the news. Yeah, I, I, I was a bit late on that. Now it's twenty bucks and I'm like, oh I should have got when it was on sale. But oh. I'm an idiot, so moving on. No, wait a second, Jordan. I actually have something to mention about that. Even though it's a really pretty game and you can actually set it to, you know, actually push your computer as far as it'll go it actually runs really really well with just the open source drivers you have to use lotus graphics but they work no, hey man any any time you can play a game with open source graphics drivers that's pretty cool in my opinion well the first thing that's that went through awesome. my mind when i saw this when was like how can this be so beautiful and run so well compared to team fortress 2 which looks always <laughs> meh and runs like, you know, Michael J. Fox under a strobe light. <laughs> it's Parkinson's, man, not epilepsy. 
Do not mess with my humor. Your medical conditions, right? You massive walking vegan tumor thing. I don't know. What if it was an epileptic strobe light? A Parkinson's that shot cancer. Parkinson's strobe light? I'd I'd actually think you could weaponize that and sell that to the military. Well, you know, after after I get done with my Nintendo Power Glove that shoots cancer, that's up next. Nice. But yeah, Nintendo. moving on to our No, we're actually session. done with the um, Steam news, so we need to kick into the main segment, which is Linux Regular news. news. No, I don't think oh, we broke yeah. Pedro chat room, but no. let's get into it. <laughs> so, I'm the only one who's excited that the PS4 is x86 based, right? Meh. Well, <laughs> I don't care. I wouldn't say you're the only one who's excited. I love the fact that it's x86 based. I'm just sorry it's got that Sony sticker on it. Uh. Yeah. Um. I, I I don't know. It's it's I, I I have been just so underwhelmed with Sony lately. I mean, yep. like the PS2 was such an awesome system, and then to have such a bland follow up. Yeah. Well, here's what and, and then there, then there, there, there was that whole root kick issue with the audio CDs. And here's the thing. Here's what I'm thinking. It's not necessarily it has shit nothing to do with Sony for me. It's it's an x86 platform, and it's going to be running Linux. I'm thinking about the ease of porting. You know, if you're a developer, I, uh, are, yeah. are are you sure it's running Linux? Oh, what are they going to do? Come up with their own cost? What are they going to run Microsoft they have. x86? They, they... No, they have their own operating system that they use. So they can dear the crap out of things and transmit your credit card numbers over plain text. That's taken care of with the chip, not the operating system. The chip automatically encrypts your credit card numbers? Twice. Twice. Yeah, they better after that debacle a couple of years back with PSN getting hacked. Anyway, even before it gets to the PS2, I'm thinking from the mind of a developer as if I'm going to be porting to Linux, I'm going to be porting to the Steam Box, I'm going to be porting to the PS4, I can work from one single code base and not have to worry about writing it for fucking multi-core cell architecture and whatever the hell the um, Xbox 4 PC. Right. And let's just standardize on x86 like the original Xbox did, which was actually a good idea. And Mm. we're going to be using commodity... AMD GPU, you know, nothing fancy there. So, yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a bit concerned about the whole octo core thing. Is who the hell's gonna try and thread for eight cores? No one. Yeah, but you could forget that this is not just a gaming machine. That's the media experience device, which means experience. it's gonna play Netflix and um, sex tube or porno tube or whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> you porn? <laughs> See, Dude. somebody knows. You, you jizz.com. Yeah, I like how just uh, Pedro jumped right out there and he was like, you porn? Yeah, his, <laughs> his, 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 his girlfriend's in the chat too. Yeah, Nori, so. you might want to check that um history next time you're over at the house. Yeah. <laughs> Pedro, better start switching your browsing to incognito only. <laughs> <laughs> Clear that history. Oh, man. So this is... Oh, um, Whoa. Hello. Hello. Kind of a weird one. Uh, I was talking to myself there. Check this out. Comparison of Linux desktop OpenGL performance. So, Pedro, what's this all about? Well, this comes from Jeff Hoogland's blog spot, and he says, well, he actually compared OpenGL performance on a number of, you know, Linux desktop environments. And... <laughs> I think there's one thing that needs to be mentioned. Look at the first graph. You see that? Gnome Shell, it's a little low. KD, no composition. Yeah, it's a bit higher. KD, it's a bit lower. XFC, it's a bit higher than KD. And then there's Unity. Mm. How the hell does Unity get a higher bench in OpenGL than XFC? Does he specify whether or not it was Unity 3D or Unity 2D? Uh, he mentions, uh, I think there's something in the comments about that. He was using composition. Uh, but positive. he uh-huh. used composition in Unity as well. So how the hell he got a bad, 
better open GL performance in Unity than XFCE. It, it, bog- I have it boggles no the mind. It really does. Yeah, the, you will never convince me that Unity no anything. No. No, just, no, no, it just there's no, no yeah, no, there's no, a whole no. lot of nope in no, there. No, nope, 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 nope. And you know, neither of you, you, I mean, I use XFC, but ne- neither of you guys do, right? Nope. Uh, I I find XFC a bit too. I don't know, unesthetically pleasing. Nuts but... and bolts, yeah. Yeah, it's it's a it's a bit nuts and bolts. Honestly, I there the there's one reason I come back to GNOME three, and that's just because I like the way it handles virtual desktops. I was just chiming in, Nori. I, I'm familiar with the porn situation. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nori, she knows, I think we're man. She knows. Foreign situation. <laughs> but anyway, it looks like the um, contender was, uh, I guess, the check from E17 cleared because it comes in at 66.7, which is not, you yep. know, it's a window manager. It's not a desktop environment. Yeah. Why Why are we comparing apples and wrenches? Seriously. But yeah. it could work let's, as, let's, a, let's just as a desktop let's just environment. Graph X, just OpenGL performance over raw X while we're at it. Yeah, might as well, man. <laughs> oh. Anyway, that's that. That's at jeffhooligan.blogspot.com. In the notes, you can take a look at it and laugh yourself if you want to buy into any of that business. But how about some salvation? I could go for some salvation from the Flying Spaghetti Monster. A little bit of prophecy. Maybe the Ogre 3D engine. Yeah, man, you don't hear a lot about the good old-fashioned Ogre 3D engine for good reasons. But somebody didn't take that advice, and Jabberwocky has made a game out of it. He oh, has, yeah. and we we did we did a play as about it uh, last week or um, yeah, yeah, a couple of days ago we went through a couple it. Days ago. Um, no, he is still currently seeking beta testers for Salvation Prophecy for Linux. Um, it runs pretty well for yeah. It, does it's a long way from being completed and we've talked back and forth and he's given me some really good feedback um if you will get we'll get to that later at the end of the show i guess yeah we might mention some of that but um definitely check that out uh that's gonna be in the show notes uh it's a fun space sim game the only thing uh we had some problems with throughout let's see here um pedro i think you have to start off on some of the problems don't you yeah, well, it wasn't. Apparently, it wasn't just me. You guys ran into the same thing. Uh, at the start of the second mission, as soon as the airship is going, you know, the dropship's landing, it crashed, and I restarted the, the game. Crashed? Just what? The dropship crashed? No, the game crashed. <laughs> Yeah, you All get right. that little animation where the dropship starts lowering into the planet, and it, that's when it crashed. So I started the game again, and I was like, damn, I didn't save. I thought I was going to start all over again, but no, it auto-saved at, right at the start of the mission, so bonus points for that one, because it didn't crash anymore. Well, we got you beat. Uh, me and Jordan were playing it live when it did the exact same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was actually a, a pretty convenient ending point that I'd been recording for about 30 minutes. Yeah, I mean, it's a fun game. The, the games, it, re- it reminds me a lot of uh, Star Wars Battlefront, Yeah, well, which, was a, which, which was a game I really liked, so. But I mean, it's a beautiful uh, game. But the, 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 we had a bit of a, we had a bit of a giggle about the animations, didn't we? Oh, there's some Zoidberg animations, which, you know, good, fair, woof, fair woof, enough, woof. the developer even wrote me back and he was like, yeah, I get a lot of flack for that particular <laughs> animation, for that particular model. But you know he was cool with it. He took it with a grain of um. Yeah, he, he gave and, us the yeah. breakdown for how much he ended up spending on the uh, graphics and whatnot. Yeah, so we might talk. We're probably not going to cover all that in this show. We're going to cover that later because it's a very long. It's it's a long email. It was definitely an interesting read. Yeah, so we're definitely going to have very to very interesting. Cut through that at some point. Um, couple so, of problems. You you had to relink um libpcre, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's Both on Fedora for, and Fedantu. Yes. We had to ln-s libpcre because it needed the .so3 instead of the ones we were using for some reason. 
Yeah, but all, all all the functionality is there, so it's just a simple yep. sublink. I ran into I ran into the same problem too. Well, that's cool. Um, check it out on Linux Gamecast. Like I said, we did a players of it. It's about thirty minutes going through it. Look into our notes. Jump in that thread. Ask for a beta. He's usually pretty cool about sending it out. As long as you get back to him with bug reports, because that's what he's looking for. And that's how you do it. Get the community involved and generate some goodwill. Hmm. Feedback, so, man. Feedback. So, uh, so we got some uh, we got some race issues coming up. Yeah. What, what What are your thoughts on race, Pedro? You know, I kind of like races. You know, when they have textures. Hmm. I need some texture. Hmm. Well, it looks like Race the Sun Linux tech demo is available. Huh. Yeah. So tell us about that, yeah. Pedro. <laughs> well, like Ben said, it's just a tech demo. And it's... I don't even know what kind of game it is. You just... <laughs> Fly uh, a like ship that's solar powered. Hey everybody, um, good news for you, Linux guys. And We've got uh, a tech well, demo for you up on our website. There's one little issue it, I had with it is that Please it really has no textures, none whatsoever. Of, of it's like a really bad game, port so of Star Fox. Some of the UI is busted. Uh, really, really, really bad. Yeah. It's not very dun, 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 but dun, get it on your machines dun. and. Uh, and just give it a shot. You can get a sense of the speed. Yeah, I, I'm all for this guy doing uh, this, but it seems a bit in, steep um, for what really he's the, showing the current off alpha right that's now. out on Congregate. 20 it's, grand? Yeah. yeah. 20 grand for a game that doesn't even have textures? Oh, I guess they must be outsourcing it. That'll explain <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Let's actually take a look yeah, at yeah. this credit. This, this, is, this is what 20 grand... Jeez, robotics. That was apparently 19,000. Okay, for PC and Mac, you need to duct tape that. If you go fast enough, then you can actually let you, let you create totally Come new on. game modes. Gameplay! Enough with the talking. Every day, the Race the Sun World is a multiplayer, <laughs> or uh, I think it'll open up. Uh, I almost spotted the opportunity some gameplay. To share a link with someone. Almost. It could be a, is a multiplayer. And this is a totally unique form of multiplayer. It's asynchronous. Asynchronous and multiplayer. And it's still high score based. Uh, that guy's high score. That's mean. Told you. It's called playing one at a time. <laughs> so when your match ends, yeah, you'll have the opportunity uh, to share turns? a link with somebody. Oh, yeah. hey, man. We could even you, call you it turn based you, you strategy. Guys were never, you guys were never into tabletops, so you never did the whole play by mail thing. And this process is going to continue. Dr. Speed will share a link with somebody they know or a perfect stranger. And then when it finally ends, when your team runs out of This is basically this is I think that's actually the same name that my leader board is called. We're pretty excited. Oh, really? Huh. I didn't know you got a new one. Yeah, well, oh, right well, on. He was, good he's on a, you. Good on well, you. Well, his credentials seem good because he's a doctor and all. So, mm. the only thing is, I mean, good on him. There's no chance in hell that that is going to make its goal. I mean, I'm sorry, but you know, twenty thousand dollars, eleven days to go, and that's you, a bit steep. You're just not showing off a whole lot. I mean, it's kind of a it's a shiny Star Fox thing with cell shaded graphics, so. And no it, textures, it, it, man. No, no textures. textures. Yeah, it, it looks like something you would have on, you know, your Android or an iPhone for a 99 cent app. You know, sorry. Man. Yep. All for it, but. Better and it's a shame because it actually has a working Linux demo, but no. Yeah. Well, let's talk about one more Kickstarter project that actually has a Linux demo. Oh yeah. Yes, one that we one that we've spoken about many, many times and we'll continue to talk about. Relics of Adderall. And that's Yes. Haha. <laughs> Words out of your mouth, I take them. Nom nom. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Nom nom nom. They're nom. delicious, Jordan. Mm. I, I, I hope you like what comes out of my mouth, Ben. Well, I hope you enjoy it. it but it, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> After after show, ladies and gentlemen, five dollars a month. Ladies, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, what do they got, Jordan? A Kickstarter? Yeah, a Kickstarter. And it has a fancy trailer with in-game graphics, tech demos, thirty features, and frequently asked questions. Um, 
I guess I didn't really prepare for this story, so <laughs> <That'll> <laughs> do it live. <laughs> we'll just put the camera on you, so it'll be even more put the awkward. the camera on me. Ah! <laughs> uh, where is this? No. Yeah. Well, it's one so bit. there we are. I kicked it. So how much are they looking for again? They have. Uh, no, they, they, they don't they, say. Yeah, right now it is genuinely just a theory. Like, we might yes. be doing a Kickstarter. But we don't normally they're, mention they're, they're, they're looking to drum up some support for that. Right. But they already have a playable Linux demo, and that, and before they, they even do. thought about that, and that's brilliant. You should always do that. I mean, have something working, absolutely. And then go for the money, because you know I'll no. kick them a few shackles if they do. Definitely, mm-hmm. I, I won't. But that's because it's an MMO, and I don't really touch MMOs. And you hate? Oh uh, well, I, I will vocalize my support for them. We need more Linux games. Yeah, I mean the pedigree for this is pretty good. But you know, you can find that. The actual the game at anaroth gamecom in the notes. Yeah. Check it out. It's super early right now. There's not much going on except walking around and going, yeah, it's sort of pretty and shiny. Yeah. Yeah. It's Unigine. Mm-hmm. It does they're, look pretty. They're, they're, it's was, just wasn't, not wasn't there really a launcher optimized. open source as well? What was that, Jordan? Wasn't there launcher open source as well? Yeah. They did open source yeah. their launcher. That's a plus. So, so I guess we go. get to say good on them go. for that. Go to go to their forum and say yes. We'll give the you money. We'll give you all of the money. Yes, <laughs> wet stinky <laughs> caches. So let's get into the game since we're Linux game cast, man. Yeah, yeah. cast them because you know we haven't mentioned games at all today yet. Nine, <laughs> not one, not at all. Uh-uh. <laughs> so a uh, flight simulator got released. Who's afraid of about- flying? I am. I am. Really. I'm a macrophobic, yeah. Really? I don't like being I don't like being in airplanes. Ha. Huh. I love flying airplanes. Well, good for you. Flight Gear 2.10 is released. The Flight Gear development team is happy to announce 2.10 release of Flight Gear, the free open source flight simulator. This new version contains many new exciting features, enhancements, and bug fixes. Highlights in this release include improved usability, better terrain rendering, and a fully scriptable 2D rendering system so did anybody play it yeah i played it uh yeah pedro played it played it <laughs> tell us about it pedro. well uh wasn't really anything much to it i actually had to look up a plane that i felt comfortable with and i grabbed some random scenery i don't remember which one it was but yeah i took off and then as soon as the horizon, like I said, I'm not using the proprietary drivers. So as soon as the plane draw distance started increasing, uh, performance kind of chopped up and I was forced to kill X so I could do anything with my computer. I basically jumped <laughs> oh, in and of- took off a Boeing's 777-200ER and landed it. I just want everyone at home to sleep well knowing I can do that. Hey, man, didn't you see Mythbusters? Anyone can land a plane. I was drunk. I get, and so are most pilots. What's your point? <laughs> you kind of got me on that one, man. So what's up next? <laughs> what's up next? Grimmond is getting ported to Linux, and, people, and this guy wants you to test it. Yeah, man. That's from our favorite For subreddit, real. Linux Gaming. So, uh, um, worked pretty well out of the box for me. Um, one one thing that uh, that um, Pedro and I both experienced though was that if you try, the resolution is kind of eh, and when you try to change it, it crashes the game. But it saves it and once you restart. It's all good. Yeah, I had the same issue. Anytime you try to change it, it poofs on you, which is unfortunate. I um, guess we should uh, try <laughs> to take a look at. I think he has some trailers up here. Let's copy this link address. Uh, that link is just a just the download. Is that terrible? Yes. I have technology beyond. Oh, yours. there it is. So I mean, it's a beautiful little physics platform. The thing is, is like yeah. I spent all this time on the background scenery and all that, and said fuck all when it came to the actual character. <laughs> Well, he's he's porting it, so it's still a work in progress. Yeah, but it's already a real game, and I seriously doubt he came up with a new character. Probably not. I mean, that looks very much like a placeholder. It's like, I'm going to use this. It's just a sprite. <laughs> yeah. It's a fun 
game. I had fun with it. Um, it could use controller support. I think that would yep. be neat. Talk about that. a lot. Of, a lot of platformers for PC gonna require controller support just because it's real. I find it really odd to play platformers on keyboard and mouse. Yeah. It's rage inducing. Rage inducing. Good stuff. Check that out at grimid.com. Um, also, oh yeah. yeah. I think I should mention this. Uh, Nori in the chat room. That's my girlfriend, by the way. Oh, she yes, 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 we, we get oh, right, right, right. <laughs> She actually loves the game. She does that eerie atmosphere and the light puzzles. She really does like it. So it's kind of like Excellent. you, right? Uh, I like to think she likes me better than that game. But, yeah. Mm, <laughs> you <laughs> thought wrong. <laughs> <laughs> been corrected. So, uh, but Pedro, I think I think you're the best. You're the most qualified person to take on this next story. No, actually, I'm not because Go! Portuguese. Go! Go ahead, Pedro. What were you saying? <laughs> what were you saying? Portuguese Go! soccer fans are obnoxious Go! and apparently overhead, run American sure, and overhead, uh, run Canadian ones too. And no, oh! no. No, oh, so, no, no. We need we need some vuvuzelas here. Yes, we do. Uh, damn, if I would have thought ahead of time, I, I would have thrown that in there. Um, no, it's a sports ball game, um, football, and that's something Linux sorely king needs is any type of sports. Yes, game. because because people who use Linux love sports. I enjoy sports. You sedentary monster. Hey, I prefer martial <laughs> arts, but. Is a sport, I guess, but shut up. Now this might remind um, you of, um, you know, some early ports of like FIFA 1813. Um, outside of that, I mean, it's a nice little three game. Couldn't get it to run. It, it, it looks pretty good given the trailer. I didn't, I didn't really play it because these kind of games don't really interest me. <laughs> it, it looks good. It keeps on complaining that you know it can't find SDLTTF, which brings me to one point that I like to make often and loudly. If you don't test yes. against Ubuntu 1204 LTS 32 bit, the only reason I run this distro, you're doing it wrong. Steam is using that as a target system. Just a heads up. That's the first thing. And there's more to it, Jordan, actually. Because Fedora users, Arch users, Funduntu users, Debian users, and they know how to look at what is needed to make it work on their system from how it works on an Ubuntu box. We're all familiar with that, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Not the other way around. So, I mean, if Steam's targeting a platform, think about it. Okay, just wanted to throw that out there. Public service announcement, free of in charge. From from your creepy you uncle, then. PSA. Raw men. So this is kind of boring. It's minimalist Diablo GS. What does that? Do? Oh my God! I'm playing Diablo in a browser. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, when when it works occasionally. Die. It, it 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 definitely has some clipping issues, but I you know what? I want to see the final product. This looks really cool. It does. Do, they do, better do, finish do. it. Here I come. They better finish it. If you guys know, if you guys are interested in Java develop or JavaScript development and browser games, you should definitely Ooh, take cool. a look at that. I'm just gonna let you guys go ahead. I'll, I'll be busy here. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, yeah, it, it, as you it can see, work. the creatures are actually coming from inside the walls. So there's definitely yeah, some I, I, collision I found issues there. Outside the, uh, I found potions outside the playable area. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it doesn't work in Firefox at all. Uh, the only, ah, the only way to get it to work is to run it in some sort of Chrome derivatives like Chromium or regular Chrome. Uh, but then the the controls are a bit wonky. But again, for a very early product, this is really cool. I thought it was pretty neat, man. I enjoyed it. It is. Oh so yeah, you can check that out at what is it, Mitalist? Mitalist. Mit Mitalast. Mitalast. Dot com slash Diablo JS. Links in the show notes, as with all the other links yes. that we forgot to mention. Oh so, yeah. No, Jordan but, doesn't spell uh, yeah. things at all. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Mm. No, this is another good example of how to do a Kickstarter. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Tell us about it, Pedro. Well, I'm probably 
probably shouldn't be me because you know I don't really like real time strategy games, but I'll give it one thing. It works out of the box on Fodunto using the open source drivers, and they do have a working Linux demo. It's available for everyone, and you can check it out. And it works. It really does work, and it looks beautiful. It's yeah, it looks all, like all a cool shaded. So it, it, it's set in Venice during the Black Death, and you're supposed to go around killing yep. people. You're uh, supposed to, splack, to spread the Black Death yourself. You're playing the Grim Reaper himself. Ooh, but yeah, it indeed. looks really good. That is a bit I'm, of a lofty goal we have. But, yeah. but, but, but yes, $300,000. Uh, but this looks like a professional-looking game, though. No, it is. Yeah, so the, 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 the price tag's a bit steep. Oh, no, not $300,000, 300,000 pounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, 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 so about that 480 pounds. Pretty steep. Yeah. Yeah, so I was thinking something around 45,000, or 450,000, rather. Um, but it, it looks pretty cool. The, 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 um, the concept is pretty unique. Yeah, I mean, and I, I'm kind of, I, I enjoy it. It, 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 look, it looks like a B-class, Jordan, maybe lower Jordan. A class title. Sorry. We're kind of missing the um, big point. What's that? Pedro? What's the big point, Ben? Tell us where the real-time strategy game touched you. Uh, No, no, it's not that. It's just, I don't know if you guys ever played Commandos. I play Commando almost every day, man. Oh, oh wait, you mean the game. <laughs> yes, the game, game. Commandos? Oh. Hmm. I was burned yeah. down on it. Never heard of it. Yeah, it's a Windows game, and there, there's no Linux. There's no Linux port yet. Uh, but yeah, I was kind of burned out on it. And RTS games from then on, <clears throat> no. Look at all this moon speak going on in our chat room. Yeah, it's some sort of Mordorian script or something. Elvish, I I think maybe. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's Friggin Portuguese, Jesus, really. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but it's that it's it's time it's time for our giant sacco user feedback. Well, you know, sometimes, believe it or not, and you can do this too. If you ever got a question, comment, or you just want to make disparaging remarks about our mothers, we, we got a submit button. Yep, hit that submit button at linuxemcast.com, Scream in our direction. We're probably just going to read it because that's that's what we do. And you know, the, the worse it is, the better chance you actually have of getting it read live on the air and included in the podcast. So Indeed. do that, like these fine people did. And the first one comes from Sean. From Sean, our Soviet. Thanks for showing off the game on your show. I was there. I see there was a crash at the beginning of mission two. Dang! I would love to see you get to the space combat at rank two. After the second mission, after the two machines that crashed, were they both 64-bit? I'm wondering if it's a 64-bit specific issue. Uh, and that's to yeah. This is from Sean, one of the develop. I think the developer of Salvation. The Prophecy. developer of Salvation Prophecy. The it's it's it, it's pretty it's a pretty impressive game for uh, for a one man project. But no, Sean, uh, they were both on 32-bit machines and yep. one 64-bit machine. And um, it just he, like he goes on to say, he goes on to say. And ha, I've taken a lot of heat for the on the lack of proper strafe animation for the drone Unity. Although strangely, I love the drone Unity's waggy arm run animation. I think it looks, I look, uh, I think it looks like he's throwing his arms into the momentum of the run. But that's that one's been a little controversial too. All other three playable characters do have a strafe animation, although the Free Nations faction animations need some tuning too. I have to address this before the Steam release. It's mostly a money problem right now since I outsource my animations. So thanks for writing us, Sean. Yeah, man, that's kind of developer feedback. I like to get back after we provide feedback. Good on you, mate. Um, good stuff. Thanks for screaming back in our direction. And I'm probably actually going to bring him in, and we're going to probably have a sit down, like a 30, 45 minute. We'll talk more about some of the things we got planned in the after show. How about that? Fair enough. Our evil nefarious plans. So, up so next, Edward, and I'm going to let Edward. Mr. Pedro take this one. All right, Mr. Double D. He says, just saw the offer to complain via the web. So, can we donate money and designate that they be used for a specific purpose? For instance, could we designate funds to be put towards buying Mr. Svang a comfy chair that doesn't bounce? 
I enjoy his participation, but I'm trying to find a way to address motion sickness. See, the trick you gotta do is you gotta move your heads back, forth, side, <laughs> side, constantly, and that actually helps address motion sickness. You know, I, I think that's a very but, important point that you're bringing up. Right there. Um, <laughs> you know, especially with the motion yeah. sickness issue. I, it's just silly when you think about it. I don't think we really have that much of an issue with movement on this show. I know. In any way. How about you, Pedro? No. No. It's it all in your head, Edward. All but in your head. If you would like to send us a small donation, we might be able to get Jordan a ball gag. Ball <laughs> I already have a ball gag, Ben. You gave it to me a last year. A better one. Real leather this okay. time. None of that plasticky stuff. Because oh, you know be the chafing, yeah, yeah, it wasn't his nasty. Business. Yeah, no, I, I, I got, I got these weird marks on the sides of my face. People ask questions, mm -hmm. but, but thanks terrible. for that feedback, Edward. Man, um, no, I mean, I sit on a bowl too. Jordan's just getting used to sitting on a bowl. It's a not a new well, thing it, for him, but it's it's not a new thing. I have it's a nervous I energy pretty thing. Bad I have, I'm a very fidgety person. I have pretty bad unmedicated ADHD. So this is bouncing, sort of how I keep my hands still when not. Banging crap on the He's table, saying it's so. how he fucking rolls, man, and you better chill <laughs> That's out. That's how I roll on my giant blue ball. Oh, you know what? <laughs> We're going to send a porto on you, and you don't want to see the porto. Yeah. Indeed. That's so, right. Pedro, tell us what Derek Klump has to say. Derek Klump, he says, Ivan, do you use any additional configuration optimizations to run the native... Linux games. I've got some extensive benchmarking between Windows and Linux on Counter-Strike Source. I've got the impression game's performance drops quite a bit when using Bloom Gloom effects. Noticed your latest video, not so much Bloom. Maybe it's the game, maybe a configuration. Just curious. Well, first of all, um, Derek, it was magic. That's what I dabble with in dark arms. We, 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 we sacrificed a lot of babies on this show. That's for the most... It well, was that's four, the, that's and where we most had a coupon, all right? So that fourth one was kind of grazzy. Well, yeah. Well, we, we, try, we try and be frugal with our baby purchases, but, I mean, they're still pretty expensive. This is true. Donations, people. But, um, no, he actually did send me an interesting chart that I sent to you and Pedro about what Bloom Effect was doing to his graphics. Now, he's also running a 5... Or no, a 6-something. Yeah, 6... 6... 660 Ti, I think it was. Yeah. And Pedro, I said, you didn't see any issues with Bloom performance on your end. Nope. Now, was uh, that with was the, the open source or the proprietes? Yeah, it was the, the proprietary drivers. The open source, I can't even have Bloom enabled. Otherwise, I'll be looking at a slideshow. <laughs> But with the proprietary drivers, I ran the comparison on Windows and in Linux, and it's the exact same thing. Okay, Linux has a bit lower frames per second, but not that much. Plenty of room to optimize. I, Thousands. Yeah. I, got, I got a big honking video card, though, so I don't really run into these frame rate issues too much. Yeah, me either. I mean, I don't have a big honking video card, but I got a 560 Ti, and you know, even the newest um, airshipy space steampunky thingy um it just curb stomped that left and right man. I mean, so your big massive e penis extender 3000 turbo had to just <laughs> hey it, it, it's super clocked not turbo ah uh, ftw edition but you know there's pedro there's jordan there's me why am i saying that because we're about to wrap it up but before we do we need to tell people where they can find us oh yeah yes you can check us out at linuxgamecast.com. Go to slash podcast to get our RSS feeds and go to submit to submit your stories or feedback or disparaging remarks about your mom or our moms or every, or everyone's moms. Hey. It doesn't matter. We don't discriminate. That's right. And you can also check us out on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Linux Gamecast, our favorite Linux subreddit, Linux underscore gaming. And as Jordan said, we're always here on LinuxGameCast.com. Hop in the forums if you want to scream in our direction. Drop us a few quid, and if you can't afford to drop us a few quid, click these Amazon buttons and buy things. We get a bit of taste of that. And if you don't even want to do that, I'll make you a deal. Check this out. Just repost some stuff that links back to us. You know, if you see a good story, a good article, or anything of those sorts, maybe a video we Spread made or players. 
spread it thin and spread it. That's really but last but all. Sorry, go on. Um, we also <laughs> want to thank everyone here in chat room. Check them out. I, uh, I was gonna say uh, last but not least, on check us out live every Saturday night or whenever we get together to do a players series. You can go to linuxgamecast.com slash live. Oh yeah, that's right. Hop in the we, chat we, we, room. We got, we got a web client for the chat room as well, yeah. and you can watch us as we're doing our stuff. And how many people do we have in here this we week? We got uh, we got fifteen as of not, or I guess rather fourteen, not counting the three of us. And that's saying a yep. lot because that's fourteen people with no lives and nothing better to do on a Saturday <laughs> night. I know it's it's, it's actually kind of sad. It's a collection of sadness. Yeah, I guess, I guess Nori's here out of like obligation that she has to support Pedro and whatever cracked up stuff he does. But Pedro's got shit on her, man. <laughs> That's all I can say. Yeah, just blackmail. That's the only reason we have in the chat room. Sheer honest to god, blackmail. <laughs> and it's expensive. We, so we we, we we got stuff on all of you guys, man. Every single one. You know what I'm talking about, Falcon. Yeah, hey, you're damn right. He does. All right, so that's going to wrap it up. Let's cue the music. Boom. And as always, Boom. I've been Vin Stone. You can clear, find me, blah, blah, cleverly <laughs> hidden at Vin Stone on the Twitter nets, plus Vin Stone on the G pluses. And Mr. Mateos, where can they find you? Well, you can find me cleverly disguised on Twitter at unaccounted4 or on Google plus, not so cleverly disguised at plus Peter Mateos. Yeah, where are you? And at? blah blah flippity flippity at the burning pool Twitter blah blah we're gonna wait we're gonna Google plus plus Jordan spot. Same noises he makes while masturbating, ladies and gentlemen. And this has been Linux Gamecast Weekly. Hey hey hey, I am masturbating, man. Touche. <laughs> Wave to the lovely people. <laughs> <laughs>